I think our diet is probably the sig most significant influencer of, of our microbiota. We can see that, for example, if we take a faecal sample from somebody who is a vegetarian compared to somebody who is a, a meat eater, then you can immediately tell the difference just by which microbiota are present. We can look in people who live in Africa, for example, hunter-gatherers, and immediately tell there is a very significant difference from people on a Western diet. The kind of established nutritional guidelines of a diverse diet, uh, a varied diet, which work for us as humans, also work for our microbiota. The diverse diet leads to a diverse microbiota, which is most resistant then to some insult, some change, like through antibiotic therapy or traveling or disease. The more diverse your diet is, the more diverse your microbiota is, the better you'll be able to withstand those kind of challenges. Prebiotics are very important in our diet because in addition to feeding ourselves as humans, we need to feed our microbiota. And prebiotics are fibers or complex polysaccharides which can be added to the diet or can be naturally present in foods like vegetables. And these pass through our gut, we can't digest them, and they reach the microbiota. And then in the microbiota, they feed selective bacteria, bacteria that we believe are very good for us. And so what you're doing when you take a prebiotic or a high fiber food is you're feeding your microbiota in what we think is a very beneficial way for your overall health. Probiotics are bacteria, which you have to ingest live, which have a beneficial effect on your health. Now probiotics can be found in many different foods. They have to be added to foods. They're found in dairy products like yogurts, but they can also be found in chocolate and fiber, but they always are added. And the key thing about probiotics is they're selected on the basis of their beneficial effect on health. They must be alive, as I said, they must be present in high numbers, and we believe they have a very positive effect, particularly in gut health and areas like that. 